community, I'm Lindsay Berg, three-time Olympian, two-time silver medalist. For this week's spotlight, we have Kendall Minta. Kendall is a middle blocker and right side for Mizuno Northern Lights. She just finished her sophomore year of high school and has not committed to a university just yet. So Kendall, I've watched some of your videos and I'm quite impressed with your discipline and your vision on your block. And secondly, at me being a setter, I would definitely try to find you from wherever I was on the court to get you a good swing. So welcome, and now let's get to some of these questions. Talk to me about your favorite club memory. Um, my favorite club memory is definitely last year. Um, our team, our age group had never qualified open before, so last year was the first year that we qualified open. And it was the last qualifier and we were super like nervous and we were super pumped because at the last qualifier we did well but we lost in a tiebreaker so i think it really motivated us and it was just a super fun moment to qualify and like play open at nationals and how does that make you feel now that possibly everything this summer will be canceled after going off of that momentum um I think it's definitely disappointing because our club actually canceled the rest of our season, so we're not going to end up playing. Um, and I was super looking forward to the end of the season because we have a really good team. So it's definitely disappointing, but it's also motivating because just to know that we have a really strong group of girls and we could do really well. I love that. The way to stay positive and motivated. If you didn't play volleyball, what sport would you play? Um, I'd probably play basketball. I've actually never played basketball before, so I think that'd be really interesting. I have a lot of friends that play basketball, and at our school, it just seems really fun, so I think that'd be cool. <laughs> Does your high school ever try to get you to play basketball just because of this? Uh, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Ever since, like, seventh grade, um, all the coaches, like, the varsity coach, like, the 10th grade coach, they've all been like, play basketball, play basketball. I think at this point, they've kind of just given up because they're like, oh, she's, like, good at volleyball. We'll just let her play volleyball, but <laughs> they've makes, definitely tried. <laughs> makes sense. So what is your favorite pair of shoes? Mm, um, <laughs> like volleyball shoes or just like shoes in general? Shoes in general, if you want. And shoes. I love tennis shoes, actually. Like I have a bunch of different Nike sneakers. So I think I actually have the Air Max 270s mm -hmm. and like Ombre. Those are my favorite shoes at the moment. But I also love wearing heels. Like I think it's just cool being tall and like wearing heels. It's like not, I don't know. I feel like it's frowned upon, but I love like wearing fair heels. I had all my teammates, six seven was wearing heels, six three wearing heels, so get it girl. I love it as well. I had to keep up with my with the heels though. So if you could pepper with anyone, who would it be? Oh a lot of people. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it'd be really cool to pepper with like Dana Radke. I think that would be super fun. Just or someone that's like a really good libero. I mean, my ball control is not amazing. That's definitely something I'm still working on. So just like getting tips about like passing and stuff would be really cool. Awesome. What is your dream career? I don't know, actually. I am interested in a lot of things, but one thing that I think would be interesting is like I'm really into social justice. So like I'm in a club at my school where we like promote like um, econ or racial equity and like justice. So I think going into a career path for that would be really cool. But I also really like math and like reading. So I have no idea. <laughs> well, you've got time to figure it out and go to college and have those different experiences and hopefully continue to play volleyball for a while as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if you could have dinner with anyone in the world, who would it be and why? Um, I think either Michelle Obama or Oprah. I think it'd just be really entertaining and just, like, really insightful. I feel like I'd be really empowered and, like, knowledgeable after that. I think those are two incredible women that you can definitely learn a lot from. Okay, who is your favorite player on the national team? 
Um, I don't know. I think the I really like watching Tori Thompson just because um she like played at lights and it was really really cool to, or Tori Dixon sorry it's really cool to watch her play but I also really look up to Will Sarah Wilhite because she went to my high school so I think that she's really cool to just watch and see get really what really good. I love how you bring the Minnesota connection. You know I went to the University of Minnesota, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> Last question here. What has being in quarantine taught you? I think being in quarantine, it's definitely taught me self-discipline because I'm not the type of person to want to like go and work out alone. Like, so I think it's been really helpful to have like a team that's supportive and also like I have family members that have been trying to push me to work um like I'm being better and then also just like not taking things for granted because I'm not the person that loves school but like not having it it's so like I don't like it at all like I'd rather be in school and like with my friends so definitely those two things would be the most best things I've learned from quarantine. Yeah, it's definitely um, interesting to see uh, how we feel about certain things during these times. Well, Kendall, thank you for sharing with the Volleyon community today and wishing you the best of luck in your volleyball career. Thank you.